welcome to my channel in this video let us understand how images are formed by a convex mirror in my previous video i have explained how images are formed by a concave mirror let us consider there are only two cases the first case is when the object is at infinity when the object is at infinity now let us consider a convex mirror so convex mirror is bulged curved outside which i have discussed in one of my previous videos and the pole is this center of the surface m n is the convex mirror surface and this is pole p and this is f behind the this is the reflecting surface so behind the mirror you have the focus and the center so let us see now the object is placed at infinity so this is ab is the object at infinity then if light rays coming from the object which is at infinity they will be parallel to the principal axis and let us say a light ray is incident like this and a light ray is incident like this from the object you can have different and this can also be a light ray incident uh, then this one will get reflected in this direction let's say this is d and this is e so from e the light ray which is incident at d on the convex mirror reflects and it also reflects now these two reflected rays will appear to come from the focus like this which means this will be the intersection point at f of these two reflected rays now this is our c so if you consider a light uh, a line passing through c that forms the normal and this is i and this will be angle of reflection so this is i and this will be angle of reflection r this is i so here it is the image formed so where is the image formed image is formed behind the mirror image is formed behind the mirror obviously for a convex mirror focus and center are behind the mirror only so behind the mirror at f so the image is formed at f and it appears to come from so it is diverging from f therefore it is virtual virtual and erect virtual and erect and because it is point sized it is the image is highly diminished diminished means very small so point sized so these are the characteristics of the image formed by a convex mirror when the object is at infinity now let us move to the second case where the object is placed anywhere the object is placed anywhere between between infinity and pole or pole and infinity 
So, let us see what is this condition. So, between infinity and pole. So, anywhere. So, now let us see I have the convex mirror. So, this is coated inside and outside it is the reflecting surface curved outside bulged. Now, I have this m n is the surface and this is p pole and now I am considering an object placed here a b. I am considering an object a b placed here somewhere between. So, so infinity is somewhere far off. So, in between infinity and pole. So, it can be here or it can, it can be here, it can be here, it can be here, it can be here. So, I am considering here at this particular position. Now, what will happen? Now, let us consider the light coming from the object which is incident at D like this. Obviously, it gets reflected along this and it appears to come from it appears to come from appears to come from focus f. Now, let us consider another so, this is our C. So, let us consider another light coming from A and it appears to come from C. It appears to come from C. So, any light ray which is incident, any light ray which is incident and passes through the center always retraces its path. So, reflects back. So, these are the two reflected rays. One is reflected from the surface at D, another is reflected, let us put this as point E. So, this light ray A E incident on the surface appears to come from C. So, this is a light which is incident and passing through C. So, it reflects back. So, these are the two. So, these are the two reflected rays which appear to intersect at this point. So, this is our image position. This is A dash, this is B dash. So, A dash B dash is the image. Now, let us see where is the image position. First of all, image is formed behind the mirror. Image is formed behind the mirror and it is the intersection of these two, you know, which are appearing to come from F and C. So, it is virtual behind the mirror and it is virtual and erect in the same upright as the object and as you can see the size of the image is smaller than the size of the object. So, it is diminished, it is diminished. So, you can have object here, you can have object here. So, always object is placed uh, to the left of the pole. Uh, whether it is convex mirror or concave mirror and we have seen. So, these are the only two conditions. So, let us tabulate and summarize this two cases in the case of. So, let us put it in the form of a table. So, serial number, position of the object, position of the object, then I have position of the image position of the image, where exactly it is forming, then what is the size? So, size of the image 
and then I have nature of the image whether it is real or virtual nature of the image. So, let us put this. So, how many different cases that we have? We have two different cases. Number one position of the object first one is at infinity we have discussed and position of the image where did we get the image position at focus. So, that is at f size of the image it is point sized. So, highly diminished highly diminished nature of the image it is always with a convex mirror the nature of the image is always virtual and erect because the image forms only behind the mirror. Whereas, we have seen that in the case of a concave mirror except between uh, P and F every case you have only real and inverted and it is only in the case of P and F you have uh, um, image behind the mirror which is virtual and direct. So, the second case is now between anywhere between the object is between anywhere between infinity and pole. So, between that. So, now where did we get the image? Image is behind the mirror of course and it is uh, between ok I have not written here. So, I will put it over here I write between pole and focus. So, the image is between pole and focus P and focus and it is diminished diminished and it is virtual and erect. So, in a concave mirror always it is virtual and erect. So, this is the summary of the images formed by a convex mirror. Now, to conclude I will just give quickly the day to day usage of these mirrors that we come across we use and because of the characteristics that we have discussed in this video and in the previous videos. So, a general observation is you can always take a steel spoon as an example. If you consider a steel spoon as an example, you can see that the front side of shiny front side let us consider a shiny steel spoon. So, front side is a best example for a concave mirror and back side of a shiny silver or sorry steel spoon is an example for a convex mirror where here you will get real and inverted image in the case of concave and convex you will always get virtual and erect real and inverted here. Mm. Then you have another, another few more examples for concave and convex mirrors. For example, in concave mirror you can see a shaving mirror. Now, why shaving mirrors are used with concave mirrors? Because when you use a Mm, mm, concave mirror within the focus of the concave mirror then you will get an enlarged image therefore, you can uh, have a mm, clear shaving or smooth shave can be done. Then you will also have another example like um, makeup mirror for the same reason. So, if you are doing a makeup you know if it is magnified or enlarged your image then you can do much better. Then we might have seen sometimes uh, the head mirror of a doctor, head mirror of a doctor which is again a concave mirror. What it does? It actually uh, magnifies the um, body part of the uh, patient for the doctor to analyze the problem. Then 
mirror used by a dentist mirror used by a dentist a dentist uses a mirror in order to see the magnified image of the teeth so that he can uh, rectify the problem then vehicles car headlights for example or any vehicle for that matter headlight car headlight where you can have a magnified then again torch search lights torches search lights for the same reasons then dish antenna dish antenna to receive tv signals to receive tv signals from communication satellites that is the object is at infinity case that we have discussed is the best example for that so these are certain examples that we come across in our day to day life as far as concave mirrors are used then coming to convex mirror vehicle rear view mirrors or they are also called as side view why we use them because it gives a wider field of view compared to a plane mirror so the driver can see uh, and safely drive if he can see the wider range of field of view coming then another one i am sure you must have uh, you know observed uh, in uh, big shopping malls like security mirrors why do they use concave mirrors there in order to be able to see the large area of the items uh, displayed in the shop so that they can monitor uh, when the customers are going through the shop so this is security mirror in a large you can see because of the same reason wider field of view so these are certain examples in my next video i'll discuss sign convention and mirror formula until then keep watching keep learning thank you